Okay, while I'm in Japan, I'm gonna be using the Konbini convenience stores to my advantage. When you're on the go and you wanna grab something quick, your convenience store is right there. I got a few snacks to get started on this convenience store journey. Today, we're starting with Lawson's. I got three snacks with Ume just to try it out. Let's see how it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. This is EKB, EKB TV, and you're watching while I'm in Japan. So while I'm here, what I wanted to get started with is doing a little series on convenience stores, running in, grabbing snacks that I can have on the go. Never tried these snacks before. It's gonna be a first time taste test. So you're gonna be trying these along with me. Let's see how this works. We're starting off with Lawson's. Lawson's is one of my favorite convenience stores in the area. Uh, the top three that you're gonna see and we're gonna really focus on is gonna be Lawson's, 7-Elevens and Holdings, and Family Mart. Today, we have three snacks from Lawson's. These are all plum flavors. I'm gonna take it easy at first and go with one that I'm most familiar with. These are soft and sweet dry plums. These are ume. I'm expecting these to be a lot like the dried apricots that you get from any convenience store in the United States. Without further ado, let's open this package and see what we think about it. All right, just open the package. That dried apricot smell is wafting out. Inside, they look like little <laughs> dried up, they look like little dried up chips. Not quite as presentable. They don't look as appetizing as the yellow or orange apricots that you get in the steaks, but it's not really about that. It's about how they taste, right? Let's see. Now I think with these, this is gonna be a little bit more of an acquired taste. The tart, fruity taste is kind of a slow build. It's pretty good, but they're very salty as well too. And the flavor just kind of keeps going. It's not unappealing, but it also has this earthiness that you kinda gotta get used to. <laughs> if this is how we're starting, I don't know how this is gonna go with these other snacks. Would I chew this again? Yeah, I would, but it's not gonna be an everyday thing and I might have to find something to pair it with. Next on the list, umebushi. Umebushi, umebushi is a pickled plum. Oftentimes you see this uh, on top of rice, or with other dishes. So I would assume just kind of eating out that I've had this before. These snacks I bought as snacks that you can just pick up on the go in these packs and just eat as an everyday snack while you're traveling or walking around. This looks a little bit different. Beautiful color, gorgeous color. But as soon as you open that pack, it almost smells like you can take paint off the walls with this. Like it's like uh, an astringent, Olive. <laughs> Wish me luck on this one. Whoa. All right. That packs a salty, tangy punch. It's not terrible, but that's not something I want to eat on its own. This is something that I would slice up and put on top of uh, some seaweed, some rice something along those lines. It's very, very pickled, but it has this kind of tart, fruity flavor, and that's different. It opens up your sinuses. Oh. I'm glad you can resell these. Yikes. 
Last one. We have stick kelp. So this is uh, ushi kombu. This is ume kombu. Kombu. Work with me, I think that's right. Kombu is the seaweed, and this is kelp. So this is the only one that I've done a little bit of research on. I don't really know how this works. Let's take a look at that. So that is covered in the ume, in the plum. I don't know about this combination. The smell on this, you know, it's almost like wood. It actually smells like like when someone get that dusty old house, old books, kind of, you know, that decaying wood. That's what this smells like. I've seen where they actually suck on this to kind of get the flavors off, and I've seen that people can chew it and eat it. I don't know. I want one of these to be a snack that I can just kind of pick up from my Lawson's and keep going. So far, we don't have that. <laughs> I'm scared of this bad boy. That in and of itself was an experience, if I may. That was like, <laughs> that was like chewing on flavorful plastic. The texture is something I would have to get used to. But surprisingly, it may have been the best flavor out of all of these. I thought that was gonna be contrasting and they were gonna be at war with each other. But overall, flavor-wise, that would be the winner, but textually, that's not something I would want to be chewing or eating on a regular basis. All right, to wrap this up, I don't think any of these are going to be in my constant rotation, but it was definitely worth the try and worth the experience to see what these flavors tasted like. I think for an American palate, the dry ume would probably be the easiest for someone to adapt to. Um, it's very similar to the dry apricots and that you get in the United States. Ume bouche, the pickle ume. If you love olives, then you may be able to get over that if you're just gonna eat it raw. But I would recommend putting that on a dish and having something to put it with. Ume kombu, I think this is something like flavor wise is delicious. If you can get past the plasticky sawdust kind of texture, this one might be the one for you. <laughs> All right, that was an experience. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. If you like that, go to your local Lawson's, try these out for yourself, see what you think. Also, click that like button and subscribe to the show. I got more snacks coming. I'm gonna be trying a lot of different foods, testing out this palette, all for you. Thanks for watching the show. You guys stay tuned. Be kind to your neighbors all over the world. Peace.